Today we're going to be discovering Discord's powerful text formatting. Now whether you're completely new to Discord or you're a seasoned pro, learning proper markdown is going to help elevate your communications, take them to that next level so that when you create new announcements, you're getting more eyes on those posts and you're getting more engagement. People are reading the full message rather than just glancing over it and getting a bit lost in communication. So whether you're creating stylish, engaging announcements or you're creating some bulleted lists, we've got you covered. So let's dive right in. First up, we have our basic markdown styles. These are your bread and butter when it comes to formatting in Discord. So let's break them down. To make your text bold, just wrap it in asterisks, just like this. And it's perfect for making information stand out. For italics, use a single asterisk before and after your text. Italics are great for emphasizing a point subtly. So you need to cross something out, use two tildes. This is handy for showing edits or changes. You can also quote text by adding a greater than symbol before your message. This is perfect for referencing previous messages or statements. Want to hide spoilers? Wrap your text in vertical bars. This way, the content stays hidden until clicked. Feeling fancy? You can even mix and match formats like bold, italics, and spoilers for extra flair. All right, let's move on to organizing our text. So fortunately with Markdown, we can also create headings and lists really, really easily. Headings are made by placing uh, one to three hashes before text. So one hash for heading one, two for heading two, and three for heading three. And these are perfect for structuring your announcements or guides. Now, creating bullet points is just as easy. Start with a dash. And for added space before the dash, just press space before typing. Lists are a great way to keep things organized. Mentions are a crucial feature for attracting the attention of specific users, channels, or roles. Discord has a built-in autocomplete feature to make it easier to find specific users. So let's dive in and have a look. To mention a channel, just type in the hash symbol followed by the channel name. Discord will auto-suggest as you type. For voice channels, use an exclamation mark after the hash symbol. This is a really neat way to direct your community to voice discussions. If you want to mention users or roles, just type the at symbol followed by their name. The autocomplete makes it easy to select the right person or role. All right, cool, now we've got the basics down. Let's move on to some more advanced markdown features that can really spice up your Discord game. So if you wanna highlight a piece of code or a specific bit of text, we can use backticks to create an inline code block. This will keep your text or your code in a nice, neat square box. If you want to create clickable links, we use square brackets for the text and we use parentheses for the link. This is a great way for sharing resources without cluttering the chat. Need to share multiple lines of code? Use triple backticks to create a code block. This is perfect for developers or anyone sharing any kinds of script. All right, for the final part of this video, let's cover using and finding IDs within Discord. Sometimes you will need these IDs for advanced setups or for bots. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and enable developer mode in your user settings under the advanced tab. This unlocks the ability for you to be able to copy IDs by right-clicking on a user, a role, or a channel. So once you have these IDs, you can then go ahead and mention roles, channels, or directly, directly using their ID. Of course, you do this very similarly to how you would normally mention a channel or a role, which we learned earlier. So using the at for roles or users and the hashtag for channels. Now this is super helpful for automation of scheduled messaging, and you might be wondering, why do we need this when we already have the other method? Well, simply put, if you want something that's going to run for a long time, like an automation, users' names and channel names can change, and this would break your automation. So we need these IDs as they are static and they never change. So now you're all set to be using Markdown in Discord like a pro, whether you're gonna be highlighting some key info or just organizing your messages or using some of that advanced formatting, you're good to go. Now, if these tips and tricks did help you out, it'd be great if you could help us out by leaving a like, 
a little comment down below or hitting that subscribe and the notification bell so that you get updated when we release more videos like this to help you go further with Discord. I'll see you next time.